this school was established in 1949 as a community school. I can't hear you! Actually, it was the first school that allowed Afro-Americans to attend school in Manatee County. For that reason, it's a community jewel, a source of pride for people who always worked for the best, even when given the worst. I attended this school. So we have family tradition. But since the school became a charter, it's been plagued with problems. I feel as though I'm being scapegoated. Former principal Eddie Hundley lost his teaching certificate in January after he allegedly recommended a teacher facing child porn charges. The school has been in a financial deficit for months, and now federal education investigators are looking into accusations of fraud, embezzlement, and conspiracy. It's unfortunate because the kids should be the narrative in all of what's going on right now. The data that we received stated that the, there's 90% of those students that are not on grade lo level on, in reading and math. On top of that, the school went from a C to a D grade from the state. So the district took over operations, outraging the community yeah. and sparking this morning's walkout. Oh, you oh, make them fight. Yes. They took over the school, made the changes, but they did not consult with the parents. But with so many academic struggles, the NAACP president says the focus should be inside the classroom, not out, especially since the district takeover meant a change in curriculum. The district said in a statement while it respects students' First Amendment rights, quote, the events that transpired at Lincoln Memorial Academy today were initiated, instigated, and encouraged by adults inside and outside the school for political reasons. But we need to have as much instructional time for these students so that way they they can get up to standards. A hearing related to the future of the school will be held next week.